Supernatural occurrences around Tina. A poltergeist spirit. They're classified as demons. Things that are unbelievable. She was possessed by spirit. It boggles the imagination. What drives a woman to kill her three-year-old daughter? We are near the home of the Russians. Christina Resch was known as Poltergeist Girl. There were so many negative experiences in her life. When I was a 14-year-old kid, things started happening in my home. They began to believe that this is demonic. People believed she had these telekinetic powers that when Christina loses control, could be explosive. She was emitting electromagnetism. You have to see it to believe it. Look at that. Tina did this. You could see the fear. Something the house felt absent of all joy. She just ran away. I ended up marrying a man. Having Amber literally saved my life. She loved Amber dearly. Some psychokinetic things that started happening that were more destructive. They tell me that he was dead. This child's been severely physically abused. She had been arrested. It became a circus. Something changed. We had all this evidence. It was overwhelming. Christine's been in prison for over 30 years for a murder that took place when she was somewhere else. It's ludicrous. I knew I wanted Christina's case, someone we wanted to fight for. I want Christina to have her day in court. I made a murder with her. The fact that I was a single mother and had supernatural issues, none of that helped me. Demons and Saviors. Only on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.